Hello everyone, I'm Saras Ramamurthy from Learning Matters. Welcome to another video on teaching tips and strategies. Today, we will be looking at word webs, a very beautiful strategy that helps learn vocabulary. How do word webs help us learn vocabulary? They show how words and ideas are connected. They show how words are related to one another and thereby they help students learn and remember words better. Let's take a look at what a word web actually looks like. So here's a word web. At the very center of it, the very center circle, comes the word, the target word, the word that you want to learn the meaning of or the word that you want to teach your students about. And from the central word come lines to which are connected more circles. Let's take a look at what each one of these should contain. The circle on top or the whatever shape you can give it is for the meaning or the definition of the word. The next one shows the part of speech. What part of speech does the target word belong to? Is it a noun? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective? And so on. The next one shows phrases. This is for you or your students to list out some of the commonly used phrases or terms or expressions in which this word normally appears. The next bubble we have is use in sentence. This is to show the usage of the word. Give the students examples by showing them how the word actually is used in sentences. The next one is antonyms and the one above it synonyms. What are the synonyms of this word and what are the antonyms of this word? That is, what are words that are similar to this word? What are words that are the opposite of this word? Now let's look at another form of creating a word web. Let's look at one that's created on paper. So previously you saw me create a word web on the whiteboard. You can create it on your chalkboard or you can create ones on paper or have your students create them on paper. One idea that you can use is to put a blank word web like the one I've created as you can see it has the same circles that, are, that were created on the whiteboard except that I've left some blank space and then I've inserted this word web template into a page protector like this. What you can do is you can have your students write on top of the plastic with a, a dry erase marker and then you can reuse the same template over and over again for the same student or with multiple students. So this is one way of using a word web, uh, a very creative way of using it in your classroom. You can actually have students write in these, in the blank spaces. That way the students feel like they have done some concrete work with the word and that will help them remember it better. So now let's take a look at a word web. Let's actually apply it to some words and see what it would look like. So here I have completed a word web for the word prosper. So prosper is the word that we're trying to teach the meaning of to our students. So you write your target word in the central circle, prosper. What is the meaning of prosper? It means to succeed. What part of speech does this word belong to? It is a verb. What are phrases that you might hear of commonly used with this word? One of the phrases I can think of is grow and prosper. How do we use prosper in a sentence? Here's an example. If you study hard, you will prosper later in life. What are the synonyms of prosper? What are the words that are similar to prosper? Thrive, flourish, succeed. And what are the antonyms or the opposites of prosper? Some antonyms are fail, decline and languish. So as you can see, creating a word web like this makes it very easy and also interesting for students to learn the meaning the application, antonyms and synonyms of a difficult word. Once they've done a word web or created a word web like this, they will be able to remember the meaning of the word and also remember how to use it and apply it in sentences later. I hope you liked our presentation on word webs. Please do use this strategy with your students. It's very easy, very simple. Uh, there's hardly uh, any time that's needed for students to learn how to do this. Do use it with your students and do write to us at contact at learningmatters.xyz to let us know if word webs are a success in your classroom. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.